Hey, welcome back to Big Board. Uh, it's the 24th of May, turn eight. Germans had initiative, they moved, didn't have a lot of supply, they only had 14 SP, and so they really had to spend most of the time um, securing supply lines because of the pretty significant breakthrough you can see here and the big push they had here, which uh, pocketed these guys here, which I haven't rolled for. Let's just do that real quick. French guys, 10, 11, and 10, nice. Okay, so those guys are rated two, so at 10, they're gonna probably lose four steps. Two, one, 10, yeah, all steps. So they're gone. These guys are low. Ammo and DG down out of supply. Winners, they're four. That's one step, so he's gone, and then they're gonna be gone as well. Yep. Right, uh, and so what we're doing now with the French turn is before I, I've rolled for supply and I've rolled uh, for reinforcements and all that sort of good stuff, and we got a surge and everything for the French, so it's all nice. However, um, this Charleroi pocket here, this is Charleroi where the Air Force, uh, the Air Force, where the airfield is right there. See that little guy right there? Uh, that was uh, out of supply at the end of the last turn and further consolidated that blocking up there. Uh, there was no SP in that pocket at all. Uh, plenty of SP here, unfortunately. We rolled for uh, the uh, attrition. So I wanted to just roll for all the attrition first to see what's left. And you know, there's not a lot, not a lot left, right? They're all, all these guys are dead this turn. 30, 44 steps of losses. Now, yeah, we can uh, roll for a breakout. We could do that, but you know, I don't think the guy's gonna get back on the board in time to make a difference. So that, that's kind of the situation, and I, that's kind of thin. So there's a, a, there's got a little thin line here. I've gotta bring some reinforcements on, but there's not a whole lot. Just some additional BEF units and uh, uh, some attachments to one of the armored or mechanized French units. And uh, so that's kind of the situation there. And then here, Holden, okay, that's a little thin. There's probably be a, a uh, overrun on that 2-4 unit next turn. There's a headquarters underneath there. Down here, the Germans had a little bit of a scare because they thought they were out of supply, but because uh, I'd been, I had a three day break in between turns and I was right in the middle of a turn, so I'd moved units. And I came back to the board thinking that I had to uh, place supply and move everybody. When in actual fact, I'd already moved. And I'd only left two SP down here, but it was in fact enough to feed these guys here. Uh, this is just one step here. So we managed to feed everybody for Trace down there. Uh, Metz is under pressure. I'm gonna, I think, unless someone can see something uh, that the poor old allies can do, I think they're done. I think this is a game. We're going to call it here. Uh, really, another very, very interesting game. The Allies, uh, I think in the last video I posted up, held their own, uh, although it doesn't look like they held their own. Uh, this is really all one mistake that the Allies made that allowed this pocket to be formed over here. There's a, uh, you know, I think I am going to be done, so let's just start honking some guys out of the way to show you this. There's a hex here, this guy. These two hexes here. Uh, I had uh, a couple of units there, and uh, the net result was that they weren't as strong as I thought they were. And uh, the the uh, Germans just uh, went hell for leather and threw in a bunch of supply, DG'd the hexes, and then attacked at uh, reasonable odds and got a very, very favorable surprise roll and uh, and a die roll that uh, allowed the breakthrough to happen. And uh, there were, of course, some units in reserve and that, uh, that finished that. Similarly, over here, less, uh, less elegant. It was uh, three or four 
overruns one after the other where the French kept taking a step loss uh, or retreating and uh, these guys kept advancing and then we still didn't break this road here, the, the, the log jam on the road, so I brought more units up and, and overrun and overrun, blew out all my supply. That's why last turn we, we did virtually no attacks. We did one attack last turn. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, this turn, the turn 24th, which the Germans won initially won. So uh, pretty blistering, and then the, but the results were different this time. You know, here, uh, the, the, the losses were significant for the Germans. The Germans took an absolute, uh, relatively speaking, compared to last time, uh, a big pounding. Lots more air lost, a lot of uh, armor uh, losses, and obviously the armored cars take a, a bit of a pounding because they're the cheapest to lose, but also very valuable for getting adjacent to enemy units. Uh, you know, these guys, you know, just the little uh, KRD units. They took a beating too, lost some Panzers guys. And that's the, uh, that's the Allied losses for military, military combat losses, I guess we should say. Uh, pretty hefty. See that okay or not? There you go. And so I think I think that's where we're. Excuse me for the chair. I think that's where we're going to leave it. Another great campaign. Lots of entertainment. Uh, you know, I just would want to grab this and throw it back on the board again. I mean, it's freaking awesome. Uh, if OCS uh, Case Blue combined with the uh, Galarian Blitzkrieg is anything like this in terms of the entertainment value. No wonder guys play it all the time, or play scenarios all the time. I can see how uh, fantastic uh, the the and enthralling the entertainment value is on this. Plus, you know, we're we're going to experience a little bit of history and and, and uh, mess around with it and see if we can do something differently. Clearly, this does not represent the exact historical uh, maneuvering. Uh, the last game, first game I played, I tried to be, I tried to. Uh, approach things from a, basically from the standpoint of the Germans. Uh, it didn't all work out that way, but we did end up with the same situation, except much deeper in the map where we were in here and we caused a huge pocket by coming this way. And, and we, uh, we came up this way and, caught, and created a massive, uh, all encompassing pocket. This, not as uh, deep, but just as effective. All right, well, that, uh, that's a wrap for uh, the Blitzkrieg Legend, version two, I guess. And uh, we're going to take a little OCS hiatus for now. And uh, I think It Never Snows will be in in uh, the big board's library in about two or three weeks, maybe four weeks, who knows? So we'll, uh, we'll put another big game straight up on the table and, and go for it. In the meantime, we'll find something else to do. Ciao.